In this house, it's time to repaint the stairs. They were previously varnished, but will now be painted light grey. You will need masking tape and plastic covering, filling knives, microfiber cloths, drying rags, scraper, sanding tools, sanding block, mini roller set and brushes. Start by covering the floor that is not to be painted. Clean all surfaces thoroughly with paint cleaner. First, scrape away uneven parts and loose paint. Then sand so as to obtain the surface so the paint can adhere better. A practical alternative is to use a hand sander with suction that is connected to a vacuum cleaner so as to avoid sanding dust. Wipe away all sanding dust with a microfiber cloth. Then apply knot seal to all knots so as to prevent them from bleeding after a time. Fill all uneven parts and nail holes. Allow to dry and then sand. Filler shrinks when it dries, so you will need to repeat the whole procedure one more time. Sand also the knot seal the second time round. Wipe away all dust and apply masking tape to the wall. You are now ready to paint, but you deserve a short break before starting. A useful tip when painting a staircase that needs to be used while painting is to paint each other step. Mark with a cross the steps that you will not paint the first time. Start with a small brush and paint along the edges. Then take the mini roller for the large surfaces. The roller will leave a little texture in the paint, so use a brush afterwards if you want to obtain a smooth surface. Paint the rises of all steps, but do not paint the steps that you have marked with a cross, so that you can still go up and down the stairs. When the paint has dried, remove the crosses and paint the remaining steps. Apply as many coats as recommended by the paint manufacturer. 